Welcome back everybody to the final checkout video of the 1967 Ellen Erickson dialogue from Mexico and this one is of course in the red color. So I want to tell you a little bit about what happened as far as uh, trying to figure out if the phone is painted or whatnot. So what I did is I did double check you know underside the uh, housing to make sure it was red. So of course it was red. And you know, I explained that in my old uh, the the final or the first checkout video, but it turns out instead of it being painted, is that the housings and all the rest of the plastics were somehow um, someone had applied some sort of clear coating, like uh, some protective layering to cover up scratches or to protect the housing from I don't know what, but. Um, it did take a lot of, uh, let's see, how would I say it? A lot of elbow grease uh, trying to get that off. And I did manage to get it off pretty well. I'm only on the regular, sh the, the main shell here. I left it on the dial bezel and of course the handset. And what I did to get rid of it was to use or, or fill the sink up with hot water and put in some OxyClean. And I used a scour, I used one of those plastic scours, not not like a steel wool or anything, but something less abrasive. It's, it did come off, I got most of it off. Um, I got the rest, the, the spots of it off, and you know, the difficult, um, you know, crevices and all that with uh, the Novus, um, what is it? Novus number, I think it's number three, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the heavy scratch remover. And then, um, actually, I, I applied it several times around the housing um, to s keep it as smooth as possible. It really did improve the finish. You know, there were a lot of scratches left over. But all in all, you know, it looks just like, uh, almost looks new, of course. But, you know, you still see your little nicks and scratches from your normal wear and tear. And then uh, after applying several layers of that, you know, going, doing several go rounds with it, I used the, uh, lights, the light scratch remover as a finishing touch. I only use light scratch remover on the handset and the bezel. And of course I used both heavy scratch and light scratch on, on the main uh, plastic shell. But I think the, t the telephone looks really good. Um, you know, despite, you know, discoloration, maybe from the sun, because, you know, it's kind of faded or whatnot from the sun. You can you can kind of tell the difference in the colors of the plastics. Didn't change the color of this uh, shell from removing that clear layer. Um, it kept it the same, which is good. Yeah, it's very good. And then you don't have, like, that ugly, rough, bubbly-looking, you know, you know, you see scratches now, but it doesn't look bubbly anymore, as I would describe it. Um, it's kind of my uh, first find, uh, first checkout video of this telephone. Um, the other issue with this telephone was the cords. The phone was definitely not working with how they had the cords set up. You know, they had electrical tape wrapped around both cords, and they had chopped off. Uh, you know, and I said, let's... Uh, chop up the cord a little bit and put on some spade tips on the handset cord. And I also put a restraint here. This was actually from another Ericsson phone that I had gotten for parts. Um, granted, it's white, but um, it looks a lot better than it did before. And I kept the original black cord because these, is, these are what they were uh, equipped with when uh, you know they took out the hard wiring cords. I still got to replace the jack because it's got a broken clip, but I think I'm gonna leave it on for now because it doesn't affect the functionality of the phone. The uh, connection is a bit spotty, especially in this restraint. So when you move it around too much, you know, you lose kind of the connection between the handset and the line, of course. So, uh, but the phone works, you know. Um, I am having an issue, or I did have an issue with the, um, transmitter it was uh 
going in and out on me, so I had to do a bit of rewiring. I did have the wires in the wrong spot. So now it's got transmission now. You know, there's no problem with the receiver, just the transmitter. The dial got a complete overhaul. Very smooth and accurate. I do like taking these dials apart. These are these are very nice to take apart. Only finishing touch I need to do is to uh, print out an Ella Merrickson logo on cardstock and get a clear plastic uh, cover for it and to insert into this little window and then the phone will be done. I, I'm gonna just turn the phone around a little bit to kind of, you know, show you. Okay, and of course you all saw the bottom in the earlier video. Um, the PC board was obviously a mess as you saw before. I did uh, I did some cleaning with it, and now it's, it looks a lot better than it did before. I also polished the bells in the ringer, and I also did some heavy scrubbing. Not on, not on this side of the base, but on the other side because it had a lot of dirt. I ran that under some hot water to kind of, you know, freshen it up a bit. But the phone is in good shape. It's working now. I would say it's like 99% working. Only the issue is with the spotty connection with the handset cord here at this restraint. It's been bent around too much. It's damaging the wires on the inside. So then what I'll do next is demonstration of the phone working. So I'm going to go get the uh, BK Precision and we will be right back. Let me get the handset here. You might hear some crackling, but you still got dial tone. So I'm gonna speak into the handset. <laughs> it's not as noticeable the, the um, here in this light, but you can see it's not a very strong transmitter, but it's definitely transmitting. You can see the difference in the light as I speak into the handset. So, we know that works. And then we'll dial a few numbers. What I'm going to do for this particular video is I'm going to put the, let's see if I can do it, set the thing on the floor, that way you will only see the telephone. Okay, here's the ringer. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video of this um, Mexican Ella Merrickson dialogue in red from 1967. More videos are to come, so thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.